Hey guys, today we are growing our own sweet potato slips. Stay tuned. So last year, Noah helped me grow our own sweet potato slips. Mm -hmm. If you guys were here then, you remember that? Yep. So do you remember anything about last year? Uh, remember we soaked them in vitamins. We did soak them in vitamins. We're gonna do that again because I really believe that the vitamin C that we soaked it in helped them not to rot. That is a problem when you are growing your own sweet potato slips is rotting of the tuber and then you got nothing. So sweet potatoes take a while to get slips from. They gotta sprout, they've gotta grow, and then you've gotta root them. And the problem is sweet potatoes actually take a long time to grow once they're in the ground. So we need to get them in the ground as soon as possible. And that means starting them indoors about six to eight weeks before we're ready to plant them outdoors. Now, sweet potato slips are something that you can buy in the store or actually online probably right now, but they're not cheap, which is weird because they're really easy to grow yourself. So you can look around online if you'd like to skip some of the trouble, but if you've got just a little bit of time, we're gonna show you how to grow your own. It's really easy, but we need to start out with organic sweet potatoes. Do you remember why? No. Because? Pesticides. No. Uh, Mom. Because non-organic potatoes and sweet potatoes are sprayed with a chemical that inhibits them from sprouting because they don't want them to be sprouting in the grocery store. And they want a long shelf life once you get them home. The problem is that's exactly what we're looking for them to do, mm -hmm. sprout. So we need an organic sweet potato from the store. Now, I want to make sure I have plenty, so I got three because we're going to be trying three different ways. So no matter which way you do it, you're going to want to do what Noah mentioned, and that's soaking them in vitamin C, ascorbic acid, and that's going to inhibit rotting of the tuber. So it's really easy to do. Take some water in a blender and add a thousand milligram tablet of vitamin C. Blend it up till it's all disintegrated, and then you're going to soak the tubers for 15 minutes. So I've already done that with these three uh, sweet potatoes. So we're ready to go to the first method. Now, the first way we're going to do it is the traditional method that I think everyone's seen. Um, we're going to take three skewers and skewer the, the sweet potato and then hang it into a cup of, of water. Isn't that what we did last time? We did that last time. Yeah, and it worked. So we're using, you can use toothpicks, but I'm using these little shish kebab uh, sticks. Where'd you get these? Like dollar store or something? So if you don't have them, toothpicks work just fine. These are just a little less likely to break. First thing we have to remember is which way is up and which way is down because there is an up and a down. On a sweet potato, the pointy end, think of it pointing up. It's an easy way to remember it. And the bottom is kind of fatter. So think of a big bottom. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna put a skewer in three sides mm -hmm. about halfway up the potato. So just right in the mid middle section there. Going down? Yeah, hold it closer to here. Straight in. That's good. Now we'll break this off. Doesn't need to be that long. Okay, another one. Gotta hold it closer to the potato. Like right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, last one. That's off. There we go. All right, now we put it in the water, like so. And you just want to make sure that you keep it submerged in the water at all times. Yeah. So we've got about a third of the potato underwater, which is just fine. And what's going to happen within a few weeks, maybe two to three weeks, you're going to start getting sprouts around the top of the potato. And we're just going to let those grow until they reach about six inches long. And then you're going to join me on the next video and we're going to continue on from there. So we're going to set this aside. That's our first way of doing it. Now, the next two ways of doing it, we're actually going to be planting the potato. Okay, so it's in like the soil? Yep, two, we're actually going to use two different growing mediums. Um, and you want long ones, so long, grow, long planters. So I've got these gallon water jugs. I think these were Costco water. And we're going to cut them in half so they look like this. We've got the bottom half and the top half. Do this. What we can do is about halfway up, you're going to take a knife, 
and poke a, poke a hole. Nope, nope, that's enough knife. Now we're gonna use the scissors. And you're just gonna cut all the way around for the spout, just go up and over it. All right. Okay. And then how do I do it? Just right around the, the little nozzle there. Okay, so now that we've got them separated, the part that doesn't have the nozzle on it is going to be our drainage collector. And so we just want to take the knife, I'm going to adults do this, and just poke several drainage holes, being very careful to not poke yourself. Just kind of give it a little twist, a little poke and a twist. I'm going to put about eight drainage holes. Then this will just sit right in there. To, I put drainage holes in the wrong one. Okay, wait. Good job. Well, I'll just plant it in this one. It doesn't matter which one goes in which, so one's gonna go into the next one to collect the, the drainage. And the one with the drainage holes is the one I'm going to plant in, and then the other one is going to collect yes. the water. So the first thing we're going to be using traditional is indoor potty mix. And you want to make sure it's well draining, which most indoor potty mix is. See all those little white specks? That's perlite. That keeps the drainage. So into the container you've poked holes in, you're going to fill that about, just put a little layer on the bottom. I guess a little bit more. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to lay this on its side and fill in the rest of this with the potty mix. You're still gonna see the top of the potato. Okay. Now make sure the potty mix is pre-moistened. Mm -hmm. Sometimes potty mix has a hard time soaking up moisture if it's not pre-moistened. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. And you're just going to then put this into the other half so it collects the moisture. Now, when you water these, it's important that they are moist, but not soaking wet. Yes. And so when you water them, let them sit for a little bit and then take this part out, dump the excess water and then put it back. All right, so that's our second way. The third way is very similar, except the growing medium is gonna be different. It's, we're using straight perlite. Yes. The reason for this is I want to try something with excellent drainage, so it's going to inhibit that rotting even more. We're going to place the potato in on its side. You guys out there that are watching, you guys comment down below to see which one you think is going to grow faster. The perlite, the soil, or the water, all right? All right, so just go ahead and add the perlite in there. We're going to fill up the container the same as we did the, uh, the soil. Most fun about gardening is getting dirty. I would agree. So again, with this, you're going to keep the perlite completely soaked with water. Yes. So you're going to you're going to put it in here and fill it with water, let it sit for a minute. Mm -hmm. Then take this out, dump the water. And then put it back in. Put it back in. Easy as that. Now you don't need a grow light for this. Uh, I'm going to be putting mine under a grow light because I don't have a south facing window that's sunny all the time. Uh, if you have a sunny windowsill, these will do great in a sunny windowsill until it's time to root them, which we'll go into on the next video. Yes. Pretty easy? Pretty easy. Really easy. So again, organic because we don't want the, the sprout inhibitor on it. Choose one, at least one of these methods. And like Noah said, comment down below on which one you think is gonna work the best. And when we find that out, of course, I'm gonna pass it along to you. And then I'll probably just do it that way from now on. Comment down below to see me more in videos. <laughs> and what else do you always say? And you guys, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that post notification bell to see more videos just like this with me. All right, see you guys next time.
Bye.